you know, he already had the top surgery um, and now we're looking for the hysterectomy. So they would do it for that age? Yes. Let's look at an absolutely tragic case. Washington DC family loses custody of their autistic son, 16 years old, after using to let him transition to a girl. The family said their boy had never shown any desire to become a girl until at 16 he was hospitalized for self-harming after a bitter breakup with his girlfriend. Staff at Children's National Hospital informed the family that he wanted to be a female and should be referred to using she, her pronouns going forward. It's just absolutely tragic. The hospital used its emergency policies to keep the boy in its units and reported the parents to child protection services. He was then moved into foster care and hasn't been back to the family home since. What followed has been a two-year battle for custody over the teen, who is now 19 and remains in foster care. It's just, how is this possible that you think an autistic son, 16 years old, needs to be protected from his family who clearly care about him and taken away. And then the case won. The boy's father revealed how they had to sell their thriving business and four bedroom family home to cover legal costs. He said, this has been devastating. It's drained so much money and there is no money left. Absolutely heartbreaking. My, my heart goes out to this family and it is an absolute disgrace. And then look at one of the people behind this. Pictured above is Chaplain Lavender Kelly who believed to be currently caring for the child. The individual says online that they do not have a gender. Surprise, surprise. With the communist pride flag in the background. It's just an absolute disgrace. So Chaya, Chaya, I can't remember how to say her name, lives of TikTok, basically called this hospital pretending to be a parent of a child transitioning. Let's see what they had to say. Yeah, well, he transitioned to a male. You know, he already had the top surgery um, and now we're looking for the hysterectomy. Okay, beautiful. So I'm gonna transfer you to the GYN nurse line. One of the nurses will give you a call to give you more information and to let you know the steps and the protocol that they do for that, okay? Okay, so so they do, so they would do it um, for, at, for that age? Yes. Okay, great. Disgrace. Is it a common procedure that you guys do for for that age? Yes, um, we have um, all different type of age groups that comes in for that. For the gender, for the hysterectomy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just out of curiosity, do you know like what's the youngest age you would do it on? I'm not sure, but I have seen younger kids, and I'm not, you know, due to hip, I'm not allowed to say that, but I have <laughs> seen younger kids. <laughs> younger than your child's age. Get the gender affirming hysterectomy surgery? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gender affirming hysterectomy. Removing a teenage girl's womb. What the hell is going on? You know, freedom of speech may be under threat in the UK, but at least this isn't happening. That is one of the US's big issues right now. It's just heartbreaking. Hats off to her for calling them. Great idea to expose this disgusting hospital. So this claim, oh, surgeries aren't being done on minors, incorrect. They said they had children younger than 16. And somehow removing a teenage girl's womb is gender affirming and what she needs. These people are disgusting. How they can believe in this, no idea.